Marsha Roscoe. I'm the executive chef at the Dome Restaurant Bar and Lounge. And today I'm going to be showing you braised short ribs with a horseradish mashed potatoes. Now, braising short ribs is a very lengthy process. I know it takes me about four hours from start to finish to do my short ribs. So I definitely got them started. And what I'm going to show you is how to finish them. So the first thing that we do in making short ribs is I'm all about seasoning. So the first thing I do is I season my short ribs. Then I create seasoned flour. I dredge them in the flour. They get seared until they're a nice golden brown. And then it gets braised in the oven. Braising is a slow method of cooking where the product is completely submerged in a liquid. This is made with beef stock, red wine, Worcestershire sauce, and tomato to give it really lovely flavors. And then what I'm going to do to finish it is, I'm really just reducing the sauce and making sure that the beef is completely coated with this lovely sauce over here. And then that's going to be used as the gravy that's going to also flavor our mashed potatoes. So while this is reducing a little further, what we're going to do is we're going to finish the mashed potatoes. Now what I did was I took some Idaho potatoes. I like using Idaho potatoes for my mashed potatoes. I like the flavor. And I use a little bit of butter, heavy cream, and we're going to add some sour cream to this. It helps with making it more creamy. And because this is using horseradish, I think horseradish and sour cream go very well together. So I have a little bit of horseradish here. We don't want to put too much because we don't want to kill anyone. And I'm going to flavor it with salt and pepper. And we're just going to mix this all up. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our horseradish mashed potatoes and I'm going to put some right in the center of this plate. You see how creamy that is? I mean the butter, the heavy cream, but additionally the sour cream actually helps make it creamy. And I think it's also a little less fattening than in adding too much heavy cream to it, which is why I like to use sour cream. Now we've got this beautiful short rib. The next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to grab my tongs. And I'm going to take it right out of the pan. You can see here it is so tender that it is actually falling off the bone. I mean, I don't know about you, but that's how I know that a braised short rib is good. I mean, if you don't need a knife to cut into it, that's the way I want to eat a short rib. So I'm just going to put a little bit of sauce right on top. And then I'm going to finish it off by garnishing with a little bit of parsley. And there you have it. We have a braised beef short rib with horseradish mashed potato, red wine reduction, and freshly chopped parsley. My name is Marsha Orozco. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Thank you.